Shalom brothers and sisters, welcome to our service this weekend. We greet you in the love and name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are so blessed that you're here with us to join us. And let me tell you, today's message is a message for year 2022. And it's going to be a message that's power packed. It's going to be a message that will transform and change your life and your year this year. God wants to bless each and every one of us. He has great plans for us. And this is the year that he unleashes that plan. So today, I pray for you that when you watch this video, that you have an open heart a heart to receive the word of Christ and to let it grow deep roots in you that you may see it bear fruit in your life. And let me tell you, this message is not just for you. If you're watching right now, please text a friend, a family member. Let your neighbor know that the message of the gospel, the good news of Christ has come into your homes. Don't let them miss this message because it's for the church. It's for every single believer of Christ Jesus. And it's for those that are yet to believe in Him. It's for those that He's been knocking at the door, asking them to open it so He can come in and change their lives. So right now, don't be shy of the gospel. Do not deny the word of the Lord. Take your WhatsApp out and text the person that you're thinking of because the Holy Spirit is giving you names. He's giving you pictures and images of who those people that you need to reach out to. So right now, WhatsApp them. Slack them, whatever chatting method, SMS them, call them, send the link, tell them that the good news of the gospel is at hand. Do not miss this today, brothers and sisters. And we welcome those also who are coming from abroad, our covering churches in Africa. We welcome you to join this service. We are blessed that you are joining us and we know that God will bless you and continue to change the atmosphere in your country that we will see a great revival there as we are seeing one happening here in Malaysia. So right now, let us come together in prayer as one church to praise God, to worship Him, to encourage every one of you right now to close your eyes, start praying in the Spirit, start praising God, let us praise Him together. The Lord lives. Blessed be my rock, let the God of my salvation be exalted. Yes, Lord, you are the God of our salvation. It is your blood covenant, Lord, that has saved us and redeemed us, Lord. We praise you because you are so wonderful and so good. Your loving kindness is so great, God, that you did not forsake us, God, even when we were sinners and when we opposed you, God, that you came down into this world to lay your life down, that you may be hung on a tree to become our curse, that we may receive your righteousness. And we thank you for this righteousness, the righteousness of Christ is upon us for you are holy and blameless O Lord for you are the everlasting high priest the perfect high priest our high priest thank you Jesus for all that you have done we come right now humbly Lord into your presence to praise your name to exalt you because you are worthy of all praise because you are the king of glory because you are the Lord of hosts mighty are you victorious are you your kingdom Lord is an everlasting kingdom your dominion knows no end for you are enthroned on high seated in glory next to the right hand of the Father all praises is yours shaka halayana yohoko solo shika layana yahastana Lord, I pray for each and every person watching, Lord, that you fill their hearts with your love, Lord. That as they begin to watch today's service, God, let your word take deep roots within them, Lord, and may they bear much fruit. I sprinkle your blood upon them right now, Lord, and I pray for each and every soul watching, God, that they, Lord, will see the deliverance, Lord, that you want to give them. That they, Lord, will see today, God, your mighty power being displayed, God. And I pray, Lord, that each and every person, Lord, may begin, Lord, to truly repent and turn away, Lord, from the ways of that they are walking that is offensive to you, O oh God. That they may turn around and run back to you. That you may embrace them, Lord, in your arms. For you are the good God. For you are a loving God. For you are a God full of kindness that longs to hold us in your arms, to call us your beloved. For you sung songs of love and joy over us as we, Lord, were being created, as we, Lord, return home to you, Lord. And I pray right now, Lord, for each person, Lord, to receive your joy, Lord, for each person to be filled up, Lord, with your love today, God, that they may be, Lord, 
a great light to this world, this dark and perverse world, Lord. They will be your light shining, God, that everyone may know that you are the King of glory, that you are the true God, that you are the mighty deliverer, our protector, that there's nothing, Lord, we cannot do without you. For you, Lord, are our everything. For, Lord, we long for you, God. We long to dwell in your house. We long, oh Lord, to eat your word. We long to behold your beauty and inquire in your temple. For you, God, are our salvation. You, God, our heart's desire. And let there be a great hunger for you, Lord, that we may approach you, Lord, with fear and trembling, with wisdom, Lord, so that, Lord, everything that we may do, Lord, may be prospered and blessed. For you are mighty God. For you are the King of glory. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Are you ready to receive the light of Christ today? The light of Christ that will flow from the Word of God. And the Word of God is active. And the Word of God is alive. The Word of God is alive. It's a living Word. It is active and alive. As you hear the Word of God over and over again, you will see this confidence inside of you upon the Lord, this faith inside of you will increase and increase and increase. Amen? And even as your faith increases, the more your faith increases, the greater the deliverance will be in your life. And your faith needs to be rooted and grounded in the love of God. And the love of God is revealed through the Word of God. Today, we will not allow any to command us for we did not receive a spirit of bondage again to fear to get ourselves ready to operate in the light of Christ we need to understand what are the functions of the supernatural light of Christ are you ready the word of God says the perfect love of God drives away every fear. Why the love of God has to drive away every fear first? Because fear will prevent you from believing the truth. Amen? Fear has to do with punishment. Why we fear? Whenever we are sick, whenever we are going through poverty or financial problem or whatever problems that we are going through, we have this fear inside of us. Do you know why we fear? We fear because love has not been perfected. Amen? And why we fear is also because we have this fear of punishment. We think that the sickness has come into our life because God is punishing us for our sin. We feel like whenever there's oppression in our life, we feel like God is punishing us for our sin. So we have this fear of punishment. But God is telling you today, the remnants, of Christ's kingdom. God is telling you this today to you. My son and my daughter, you are not an orphan. You are not an orphan. You have a father. The moment you receive Jesus, my son Jesus, as your Lord and Savior, you have come into my family. The blood of my son flows through your veins. Amen. You are welcome into my family. You are my sons and you are my daughters. You have a father and I am your father. How cool is that? God the Father. God is our father. Amen. He's a generous God. He's a kind God. Amen. And today we will not allow any fear to torment us. Right? For we did not receive a spirit of bondage again to fear. We are not going to be bondage by fear anymore. And what fear is this? The wrong fear. The fear that will always whisper in your ears or shout loud and tear and very noisy in the nights before you sleep that God is punishing you for what you have done in the past or for whatever sin you have done. So now God is punishing you. So now you have to be punished with sickness, or whatever lack that you are going through in your life. But that is not the truth, right? So for you did not receive a spirit of bondage again to fear. The perfect love of God has driven away every fear in your life. If you allow the perfect love of God to touch you today, right? What you will see is that the power of God 
the power of the Holy Spirit. The love of God will touch you. You will have this shalom that's coming into your spirit, into your mind. Amen. You know the kind of decisions that we make in our lives today? The kind of mindset that we have today? Right? Every time we put on a wrong mindset, what we are doing is that we are giving away a part of us to the devil. We are giving away a part of our territory that God has given us to the devil. But today, let me tell you, today is the day we are going to take back our territory. Amen. Are you ready to take back that territory because of that wrong mindset that you've given to the enemy? Today is the day that you're taking it back. Amen. You are going to call your destiny. Amen. In the book, in God's book, everything that he wrote about you is good. There is no sickness. There is not even death. Amen. Who are we to say that everybody will die one day? What if Jesus comes tomorrow and we are still alive? Right? We can't say whether we will die one day. Because Jesus can come anytime. And now we are standing at the time and season where we see the coming of the Lord is very near. Amen. The Lord Jesus is coming soon. He is coming soon. And many are seeing visions and dreams about rapture already. Even the young ones, even the small babies, the children, they are seeing dreams and visions of rapture. So Jesus is coming soon anytime. But as the remnants of God, we need to be ready. Amen. Now, almost four months ago, we celebrated the Jewish New Year. That was on 7th of September. Right? Now, this feast day, is established by the Lord Himself. I just want to update you that the biblical calendar or the Jewish New Year that we are living in today is the year 5782 and today is the second day of 2022. Everything is 222, second day. We didn't plan it that way. We didn't plan to have service just because it's the second day. But there is a message that God is speaking through those numbers. Do you want to know what are the messages that God is saying to the church today? God even speak through numbers. God can speak through anything. Amen. In the Gregorian calendar, we are now on the second day of 2022. I want you to see something. Today, to number the years that we are living in, the whole world is using the term AD. Say AD. Now, what is the meaning of AD? Is it after that? It is not after that. Okay? The meaning of AD is not after that, but it means in the year of the Lord. Say in the year of the Lord. Okay? In Latin, it means anno domini. Alright? It, it means in the year of the Lord. Now, I want you to listen to this very, very carefully. I want you to listen to this. Right? And I want to declare it to you loud and clear. And I don't want you to miss this. Are you ready? Even the years are divinely orchestrated, supernaturally put together by the Lord. Every year we are living in the year of the Lord. Amen. It is supernaturally put together by the El Elyon, the Most High God, the only God. Do you understand what I just said? Every year is the year we are in the year of the Lord. Amen? Behold, He is before all things and in Him all things hold together, even the years. It holds together. Amen. Colossians 1.17 He is before all things and in Him all things hold together even the numbering of the years. The numbers speaks. Everything speaks because everything is put together by the El Elyon, the Most High God, the only God. Say the only God. There is no other. Now, I want you to look at this chart right now. 5782. This is the year we are living in today. I just want to share with you how both 5782 
2022 and 2022, it converged together. So now, number five, it speaks about grace. In the pictograph, you will see is a picture of a man with arms raised. So the meaning of number five is bread, revelation, and grace. See, bread, revelation, and grace. Number seven is the alphabet Zayin. And the pictograph for seven is weapon. And the meaning is to cut off. And the meaning is also perfection. Okay, you see a few ways that you can interpret the numbers. One of the ways is by the pictograph. All right, the picture of that number. And secondly, you can interpret it through the Bible. What the Bible says about the number seven is the number of perfection. And then the number eight is cat. Number two is bed, say bed. Bed is tent or house. The Israelites lived in a tent and a house, meaning of household or family. All right, now, the number five, why it is grace is also because it speaks about the five sacrifices, the five offerings in the book of Leviticus, right? It reminds us of the finished work of Jesus on the cross. So it is grace, right? So that is why number five is grace. All right. Now, what is the meaning of five seven eight two? God is saying to our land Malaysia, right? Through five seven eight two, you know what He's saying? Through the revelation of His grace and the perfection of Jesus, all attacks of the enemy is cut off. God is not saying 5782 there will not be any attacks there will be attacks there will be weapons formed against you and me but every weapon every attack will be cut off Amen this is what God is saying listen to this I want you to listen to this very very carefully and you need to do this in order for the revelation of His grace to be released to you church you need to do this if you are a remnant you will do this this is the second purpose of 5782 Right? The revelation of His grace and perfection will be released to you when you be in your inner room, inner room, inner chamber with the Lord. Amen? And no, don't stop there. Right? And coming back to the house of God, Beth, Bethlehem, house of bread, come back to the church, come back to the house of God, gather together as the remnants. Remnants need to assemble. They need to come together. Only then, the grace of God will be revealed. Amen. You need to come back to the gathering in the house of God. Not only spend time in your secret room. Both are equally important. If I did not spend time with the Lord, I will not be able to share with you what the Spirit was saying to the church in Malaysia. Amen. So do you understand? Right? You need to get this. We put this on YouTube. I want you to listen over and over again so that you get what is your role in Malaysia for this year. Every Christian need to be active. Active. Now 5782 is also the Shemitah year for the Jewish people. Right? But it is also a Shemitah year for us because we are Jewish by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Say I am Jewish. Right? Through the blood of Jesus running through our veins, we are Jewish. Amen? Now, this is the year of rest. The year of rest. Shemitah year. Right? The year of release from debts and poverty. Right? If only you spend time in your secret room and you come and all the remnants gather together in the church, you will see that you will be debt free and there will be release. If anyone is facing poverty, there will be release. And it is the year of favor. Now remember, Isaiah prophesied in Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Remember that part? Alright, and Jesus declared it in Luke 4, 19. Right? That He came to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord. Amen? And today, we, we are here together. Right? And God is doing the same thing. Using us you know the pastors, the apostles of Christ has a mouthpiece to speak to you that we are proclaiming to you the favorable year of the Lord. Amen? Yes, there will be shaking in the world. Yes, there will be flood, fire. You know, I saw a vision in recent times, right? Many, many, many visions, even the 
floods I saw already, right? I saw the floods before it came. God showed me the vision. Don't be shaken because as you surrender to the Lord, as you hear the word today and you know how to prepare yourself, right? Nothing can harm you. Amen. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand. What it means? A thousand may die at your side and ten thousand at your right hand. They are all dying. But it shall not come near you. Do you get that? Right? You only need the blood of Jesus. You need the blood of Jesus. Amen. Now let's go to year 2022. In the Gospel of John, you will see that the word light was mentioned 22 times. Right? So this year, I want to declare right now. This year is the year of the glory light of Christ. Amen? This year is the year of the glory light of Christ. So today, to get ourselves ready to operate in the light of Christ, we need to understand what are the functions right, of the supernatural light of Christ. Are you ready? Now, first thing first, you need to understand that Jesus is the light of the world. Right? The supernatural light is Jesus Himself. He radiates the light to the world. Amen? Now, the Lord is reminding me, Revelation chapter 1 right now, in verse 12, Then I turned to see the voice that was speaking with me, and having turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. Say, seven golden lampstands. And in the middle of the lampstands, I saw one like a son of man, clothed in a robe, reaching to the feet and girded across his chest with a golden sash. Right? Son of man, clothed in a robe, which is reaching to his feet, okay, and girded across his chest with a golden sash. His head and his hair were white like white wool, like snow, and his eyes were like a flame of fire. And his feet were like burnished bronze, when it has been made to glow in a furnace, and his voice was like the sound of many waters. Okay, now listen to this from 16 onwards. In his right hand, he held seven stars. Say seven stars. And out of his mouth came a sharp two-edged sword, and his face was like the sun shining in his strength. You see the light of Christ, how powerful it is? It's like a sun shining in its strength. So how powerful it can be. Amen. Just a touch of His light can burn something. But yet, when that same light touches a sinner or a lover of God or His children, it cannot burn us. It will only heal us and deliver us. Can you see the power of God's light? When I saw Him, I fell at His feet like a dead man and He placed His right hand on me saying, Do not be afraid, I am the first and the last. And the living one, and I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, and I have the keys of death and of hate. Therefore, write the things which you have seen, and the things which you are, and the things which will take place after these things. As for the mystery of the seven stars which you saw in my right hand, and the seven golden lampstands, the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands are the seven churches. Now, I want you to picture this. Jesus in His radiant glory, right? With like the strength of a sun, right? He's radiating. His light is radiating, right? And He has seven churches. He's standing in the midst of the seven churches. What happens during the time? Because He is in the center of the seven churches, His light will radiate throughout all the churches. Did you get that? Right? So we need to make sure that Jesus is in the center of our lives. Do you understand? We need to make sure that Jesus is in the center of our life. And the angels, when you study Greek, the angel is actually the messengers. They are not literally angels. He's speaking about the pastors, the teachers, the fivefold ministry. Those who are in charge of those churches, each church. There's a star. He calls them the star, right? Philippians 2.15 speaks about we shall shine like the stars, 
right like lights in the sky in the midst of a perverse and crooked generation are you ready to shine like the stars amen in the midst of a perverse and crooked generation people everywhere they do not have the solution to what is happening today but we have because we have Jesus with us if we study the word if we are connected to the right church we will have the answer amen i want you to know there are also dry churches churches that do not believe in the supernatural power of god right churches who do not believe in the manifestation of the power of god the healing when someone gets sick in their church they say oh the will of god how many months did the doctor give you to survive you say this to the people and they will just give up you know i remember once uh, someone told me and pastor james that you know uh, please don't raise up the hope in the people who are suffering that god will heal them but we didn't listen we went ahead and god was setting you know the church on fire right people were being healed and even yesterday i received a report right someone who has been healed of lung cancer right and god has given her a clean report and the doctor can't find doctor can't find any trace of cancer in her body you know so what i want to tell you is that the power of god is still here god wants to heal us why god wants to heal us is because he loves us amen it is not god's will for us to suffer sickness and die why because if you are sick i am sick we are laying on the bed forever who is going to preach to the world who is going to save the souls right so we need to be active and alive just like the word of god amen john 8:12 then jesus spoke to them saying i am right i am the light of the world the one who follows me will not walk in the darkness but will have the light of life now who is this i am when he said i am what he means is he is saying right the same word that was spoken god spoke to moses when he met moses at mount sinai jesus is saying i am the same god who met moses now i am the great i am the light of the world right and the one who follows me the one who believes in me right will accept me as his lord and savior what is the meaning of accepting jesus as a lord and savior not only that okay i accept jesus as a lord and savior all right i accept now okay now i'm saved from hell uh now i'm saved because the blood of jesus saved me from hell already so whatever happened happens when sickness come my way the will of god The, when lack comes in my way the will of god when my marriage is broken the will of god no that is not what salvation means that is not what it means you know when you accept jesus as your lord and savior when you accept him as your lord he becomes the master of your life and the power that comes through the salvation through the finished work of jesus on the cross whenever you have problem in your body you ought to remember because he is your savior you need to draw that power from the cross you need to draw that resurrection power and declare it through your mouth and be healed amen that is what it means to be a remnant this is what you will do if you are a remnant this is what you will do right shaka harama you have that power the resurrection power inside of you Now the first word I am the great I am the one who follows me will not say will not You know the word will not in Greek when you go back to the original context what you see is a double negative it's a double negative that means Jesus is saying the one who follows me the one who believes in me has his lord and savior will not and will never walk in darkness That means he's saying you will never ever ever walk in darkness but will have the light of life amen now the word life here in greek is zoe say zoe z o e zoe right which means both the physical and the spiritual life right 
both physical and spiritual life. So the light of Christ cover both physical life as well as spiritual life. Amen. Now, when you look at it, what it means, right? This is what something the Holy Spirit revealed to me, right? And He said that the light of life also means the light of creation. The light of creation. Amen. Right? Did you get it? This revelation is so powerful. And now I want you to stand and I want you to be healed. I want you to stand and receive. Listen and be healed. Why you open the palm of your hands? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth and the earth was a formless and desolate emptiness and darkness was over the surface of the deep and the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters and then God said, Let there be light and there was light and God saw that light was good and God separated the light from the darkness. Shaka Rabahana. I want you to think about this. The first thing, the very first thing He gave to the world the light and this light is not the sun it's not the cosmic light it's not the cosmic light it is the light of Christ Shaka Haramasti I want you to lift up your hands and close your eyes I want to declare over you right now lift up your hands church close your eyes and receive this everything that is dead in your life every greater thing your body's immune system including your brain cells. Everything that is in darkness today, if you believe in the light of Christ, will give the Zoe light and dispel all darkness. Rashaka in Jesus' name, every darkness be gone. Let the light of Christ shine forth upon your life. Rabba Kahana Mastekehe. Elohim, yeah, Elohim, yeah, Elohim, yeah, why This is how the Hebrew word, this is how God spoke. This is the original translation in Hebrew, and He said, Let there be light. But this is in Hebrew. The Spirit of God, Shakahana Masteke, is guiding me right now to sing it in Hebrew, and I want you to receive the blessing. Elohim, Yehiyah, Wayah, Elohim, Yehiyah, Elohim, Elohim, Yehiyah, Elohim. Light be God says In the beginning of creation Light be Elohim The Father, the Son And the Holy Spirit spoke And He said light be The very first gift That He gave to the creation of the world The life of creation Is the light when he said, light be, the light of Christ formed Shankaraba. Every darkness that came from hell, Rabba Kahana, and the waters of Lucifer, everything have to bow down, Rabba Kahana Maha, and diminish. The darkness have to be diminished by the light of Christ. Did you get that, church? Rabba Kahana Makehe, Romostono Sakara. Let there be light. God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. 